Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Opens a Box, and we have a really stacked episode here today, don't we, Summer? Yep. We have, we need your introduction. Oh, it's okay. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, we have six pops here. This is from the Marvel Avengers Mech Strike Wave. Uh, that just came out a little bit earlier this year. I don't really know what Marvel Avengers Mech Strike even is. I don't think it's a TV show. I'm not really, I'm not sure if it's like a comic book, maybe? I don't really know what this is based off of. Uh, but nonetheless, Funko made an entire wave here. Uh, these are the six that were part of the main wave. And there were a couple exclusives, most of them just being like glow-in-the-dark versions. Uh, but there was one that, uh, other exclusive, but he will be in a future episode uh, down the line. Uh, so today's episode is just these six characters. Do you have, uh, which ones do you have in this one? Um, Captain America. Um, it's Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel and... Yes, and I have Black Panther, Hulk, and Thor. Um, so I guess we'll just get started. This is going to be a bit of a long one, so we got to try to get through this here. Uh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Okay, well, I'll start with uh, Thor. Um, so let me go ahead and scooch here. <laughs> so here's Thor. Uh, this is pop number 834 of the Marvel lineup. Uh, there is the name down there, as well as the 3D model on the box there. Um, you see it on the side, uh, there's the 3D model again. Uh, and then on the back of the box it has all the characters as well as the Marvel Avengers Mech Strike uh, logo on the back. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really much else to say there. The box itself is actually kind of bland. That is cool. I like it. I, mean, I don't know, it's not, not too crazy, but I guess it's cool for what it's worth. Yeah. Alright, so I'll go ahead and open up Thor. It does not have a stand. Oh wow, this is actually really cool. That's huge. It is, yeah. So here is the Marvel Avengers uh, Mech Strike Thor. Uh, this is actually really cool. Uh, as you can see, most of these are like Iron Man suits of armor for each character. Uh, so Thor has his own right here. He has his trademark helmet featured here uh, as part of his helmet. Um, he has the glowing blue eyes and he also has a cover uh, for his face. Um, Overall, it's a pretty cool helmet. I actually really like that detail. It also has this weird spike right here uh, on top of his head. I don't really know why he has that, but uh, he does have that. Uh, on the bottom, he has his own little uh, arc reactor like Iron Man does in the middle of his chest. I think they all might have that, maybe. Um, and the rest of the uh, armor is uh, kind of a combination of blue, red, and he does have yellow on his feet. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And his hammer is actually incorporated into his armor where he can actually like replace his hand uh, with the hamper, so that's actually a pretty cool uh, detail there. Rather than him holding it, it's actually part of his suit. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool detail. What do you think about that one? I think it's cool. Yes? I don't even know. What is it? It's Thor. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, this one's Thor. I like it a lot. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> not much else to say. We'll do our uh, ratings at the end, of course. Oh, these actually do stand pretty well, too. You can do Captain America if you want. Yeah, so this is... That's like Captain America. Okay. <laughs> this is Doctor Strange. He's pop number eight thirty-two, and he's basically boxes. Yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing he probably doesn't have a stand either, right? Uh, eyeball. It's pretty cool. I don't know who Doctor Strange is, so I mean. Remember Doctor Strange? Is? No, I don't watch Marvel. <laughs> well, that's true. You haven't seen any movies with him yeah. yet. He has. Whatever these things, you can talk about them, I don't know if those <laughs> things are or anything. Well, that is his magic. Um, he's, he's kind of summoning um, a couple things there um, of magic. Uh, he also, uh, on his helmet, has a lot of blue. Um, this doesn't really look like <laughs> Doctor Strange's head. I guess they kind of had to uh, add a couple different features there. Uh, but he does have the blue eyes as well, and that's pretty much it. He has so, wings. He does have, yeah, instead of a cape, he actually has wings. Uh, which is a pretty cool uh, detail there. I guess it would be weird to have like a cape I don't on him. He usually does, yeah. Know. Um, in the center of his chest, he has the Eye of Agamotto, um, which is a, now an arc reactor, like I mentioned with Thor. Uh, the rest of the suit is pretty much just blue uh, with a little bit of yellow where his hands are. And that's pretty much it. And it does bobble as well. Um, these things, these figures are actually pretty heavy. <laughs> that's one thing I've noticed. Uh, is that they are actually relatively heavy compared to some of the other Marvel Pops that we've had. Um, but this one's pretty cool. I actually really like this one. I think this one looks fantastic. So, and it stands pretty well. 
Okay. All right, next up I will do Hulk. Uh, of course, yet another one here uh, in the series. Pop number 833 of the Marvel lineup. Um, you can see the name down here uh, on the side. There's Hulk with the 3D artwork. And then, of course, on the back, it has all the characters and the logo for Avengers Next Story. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I didn't figure this one would have a base because it's gigantic, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, this is easily the biggest one of the wave, but that shouldn't be surprising because Hulk is usually the biggest one in any wave. Um, his head is gigantic, especially compared to some of the other characters. Uh, it's kind of funny that they kind of gave this little black part right here to show like where Hulk's hair is. <laughs> that's oh, supposed to be, yeah, that's where the hair is. Uh, and the rest of the head is like a green, a lime green color with some yellow glowing eyes. And it looks like a, a little grimace like on his face right there, you know, uh, with the teeth kind of poking out there. It's oh. a, a fun little detail there. Uh, the rest of the body is pretty much that same green color except for his pants. They did incorporate the purple pants. Uh, that's just a Hulk trademark. He does have his own arc reactor as well, just like the other characters do. Uh, and he has these little black gauntlets uh, on his hands as well. Um, he looks like robotic. It looks really robotic, especially compared to the other characters. Uh, this they one... They kind of do. They look robotic. Yeah. Well, they are kind of robotic, I guess. Kind of. Because <laughs> they are like the suits of armor, like Iron Man's suits of armor. No, I mean like for the next strike one, like they all look like purposely robotic. Right, that's the point. Yeah. He's making a pill or something. Why not? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these look really good, actually. I like this one a lot. Uh, definitely, you know, not too crazy on the details, but it is the Hulk. He doesn't really have that many details to begin with, so this is pretty decent for what we were given. So that's a pretty cool one. All right, you can do Captain Marvel next, I guess. I don't know which one. Oh, this one. This is Captain Marvel. It's number 831, and it's the same box as everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Really awesome. We don't have to talk about the box for all of them, I guess. <laughs> They're all pretty similar. Okay. That's pretty cool. Captain Marvel. It's actually really cool, not gonna lie. That one is actually really neat. It's really cool. It didn't, like, I didn't really like that one at first, but seeing it in person it actually looks pretty good. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, at least I didn't. No, I didn't like it. Uh, so here's Captain Marvel. Uh, as you see, the red and blue uh, on the helmet. Uh, it also gave her the mohawk. Uh, right here. I think that's uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, has the glowing light blue eyes and then of course the rest of the suit of armor is based off of Captain Marvel's outfit. It has the star. Uh, she does not have an arc reactor actually unlike the other characters. Uh, she just has the star symbol uh, on her chest. Uh, and then of course the rest of it. This one looks like a transformer almost to me. Uh, not so much a, a Marvel character. Um, it looks really cool. Lots of detail on it. Like, it's kind of hard to really go over everything, but there is a lot of detail, a lot of colors, very colorful pop. Uh, the back kind of has what looks like some wings as well. Mm -hmm. uh, not the same as Doctor Strange's wings, but they definitely are wings. Um, and they have a little boost uh, in the back so she can fly. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Nothing too, you know, nothing really else to say about it, but I really like this one. This one looks super cool. I'm a huge fan of this one. Uh, good job, Funko. That's a good one. And it actually does stand. I don't know if you can see it because there's boxes. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of boxes. I do apologize. But that is uh, what happens when you open boxes on Jared Open the Box. Um, all right, so we have two more left, guys. We're getting there, I promise. Uh, we have Black Panther. Doing last. Oh, we're doing last. Well, because he's like the one who wants to see something. He's really cool. Okay, fine. Uh, Captain America. <laughs> I guess we're doing Captain America next. All right, so Captain America. He's box number 829. 829. Yeah, his boxes. Same as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> He's huge. He's huge. Is he? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty big one. Pretty big, actually. Oh, this is actually a really cool one as well. Um, so as you see, the majority of his head is a blue color with the America, the Captain America, uh, the traditional A uh, letter showing up on his head, uh, as with the usual outfit, and uh, then the rest of it is being that gray and blue eyes. Uh, then on the bottom, he does have what looks like a shield, uh, except it's definitely more robotic on his arm here. Uh, looks like he's ready to use that whenever need be. The rest of the outfit, of course, is red, white, and blue, as he's Captain America. Of course, he's going to have that uh, color scheme there. Uh, he does not have an arc reactor, but he does have a star right in the middle of his chest. 
along with some more colors uh, kind of surrounding the chest. And then he has the red boots, the red, um, you know, the red arms, everything like that. Um, you know, not too crazy with the color details, but overall, it's, it's yeah, you can't really go too, it's kind of like Hulk, you can't really, you know, go too crazy there, but I think overall, it's still pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. So it'll go right there, and we have one more. Now it's time for Black Panther. Uh, so this is Black Panther, pop number 830 of the Marvel Avengers Mech Strike Wave. Um, this is the one I'm most excited to take a look at, I love Black Panther. Um, there he is on the side of the box, back of the box, nothing too crazy. <laughs> They're all pretty much the same. Okay. Packaging is a little weird, but there we go. It was a little weird for him, I don't know why. Alright, so here's Black Panther. Actually, it's really, really cool. Cat ears. Oh my gosh. Yes, they did give him the, uh, the cat ears uh, on his helmet. Uh, the rest of the helmet has a purple and gray texture on the black, uh, of course. Um, Looks really, really good, actually. I love that. Kind of show the purple, I think it's supposed to be like the vibranium or whatever that he uses. So I think that's actually really cool that they uh, put that detail. Uh, he does not have an arc reactor, but he does have a couple uh, panther claws on his uh, armor down here, uh, as well as some like, almost like hieroglyphics almost on there too. Very, very cool detail. Um, he has actually some pretty sharp talons, uh, as well as some claws, but they are not as sharp. Um, and the rest of the body, like mostly the black, the gray, and the purple that we are used to seeing with Black Panther. Um, overall, this is actually a really cool pop. I actually really like the look of this one. Uh, this is a very cool one. I'm glad that this one was uh, was released. Um, but yeah, nothing much else to say about it. I pretty much went over everything, but I really like this one. So now let's go ahead and do our reviews. Or our ratings, I should say. Uh, scale 1 to 10, what would you give Thor? I'm a 7. Yeah, seven's fair. Yeah. Uh, lots of lots of cool detail, like the hammer edition. Um, but you know, there's not much you're going to do with Thor, so I understand that. Uh, Doctor Strange. Six. Really? I'm, like, I'm not a fan. I don't even know who he is. So. <laughs> I gotta give this one eight. Uh, this one looks really really good. I love the magic details that they put in there. Uh, I love the wings uh, instead of the cape. Um, just a really really cool pop overall. I really like the colors. Everything just really meshes well. Uh, with that uh, pop there. All right, what about the Hulk? Um, seven. He's pretty much just green and purple pants. That's true, I'd say seven. Uh, he looks really, he has a lot of in-person detail type. Yes, he does have a lot of details, but a lot of them are hard to see on a camera, so you might have to pick this one up for yourself and take a look at it. Um, but this one actually looks really, really cool. Uh, I'd say seven, though, is a fair, a fair uh, grade to give. All right, now we have Captain Marvel. That one's an eight. That one's really yeah, this one, actually, I'm going to give this one an 8 as That's well. That's probably the one that's the best. Uh, this one is definitely really, really good. Uh, I love the colors. Uh, I love just the overall look of the armor. It looks really, really good. I believe this is the only female character they released as part of the wave. Um, so that's uh, pretty neat, I guess. Um, and yeah, overall, this looks pretty good. Captain America? Um, 7. Yeah, it's 7. It's, it's a bit of a basic pop. Yeah. Uh, nothing too crazy. I like how they did the shield. Uh, and I, like, I do like the colors. Uh, the colors do look really nice on the armor, but other than that, it's nothing too crazy. So I think seven is pretty fair. And Black Panther. Oh, probably an eight. Yeah, eight out of ten, I'd say. Actually, I would say 8.5. <laughs> 8 8.5 out of ten. Uh, this one's really, really cool. I love the colors. I love all the details on there. All the, you know, the, the uh, hieroglyphics and stuff on the suit. It just looks really, really good. I think they did very good with this one. Lots of nice details on all of them, honestly. They all have really good details. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, guys, that is going to do it. So there's a look at our six figures that we reviewed today. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you all in the next one. Peace mm -hmm. out, everybody.